Hi, this is Richard Murray with another session of Parking Lot Theology. I want to talk to you about a theological concept that I recently heard one of my favorite comedians, Norm MacDonald, use. Uh, and he wasn't being funny when he used it. He was being quite profound. And I love Norm MacDonald, and my boys really love Norm MacDonald. He's sort of uh, considered the comedian's comedian. And, and he could be, you know, he could be profane with some of his jokes, but he could also be clean as a whistle and so funny. I've, he, I've laughed so many times at him and he's, he's precious and he's with, he's with the Lord now. But, um, he was talking about at one point, uh, I've been watching YouTube videos and that's why I know this. Uh, but he, uh, he was, uh, talking about the Bible at one point and he said he intuited that there was great vital truth in it. And he then, after he intuited it, the conclusion, he then was able to reason and, and, and glean aspects of that truth for him. And, uh, he, he, you know, he, he definitely was a unique thinker and in his own lane of travel. I do believe he was a Christian. I, I have some, uh, some people who, who actually, um, are, are witness to that, uh, that he ultimately ended up with a, you know, with a Christian view of things. He was always drawn to Christian, to Christianity and Judaism. Uh, but it, it's amazing. He said it in such a clear way. You know, comedians have a way of phrasing things and he had a gift for the phrase. But he, he, uh, he talked about intuiting truth. And I realized that I'm a big believer in that as well. And that I, I believe that the intuition, that part of us that knows things without reasoning first, that part of us that knows because we know, we might want to, we might want to call it a gut level intuition or a gut level feeling or a gut check or a gut prompting, whatever we want to call it, there is something in us that doesn't walk by sight. It doesn't walk by reason. It walks by a different level of knowledge, a knowledge that comes from sort of uh, absorbing the vibe of what's going on and recognizing something uh, apart from dr coming to a conclusion about it through A, B, C, D, E, F. You just know it. You know it because you know it, because it's a flash of insight, a flash of truth. Well, I love the word intuition, and I love the term, and it's a term I like to use, high intuition. Because high intuition, we can sit here all the time and have high intuitions about the Lord. I mean, H-I-G-H, -H, high intuitions, where we intuit the promptings of God throughout the day. I like to call the Holy Spirit the prompting presence of God. He prompts us. He prompts us from within through these intuitions. And I actually recently got an insight to where I believe that uh, the awe of the Lord are is the organ of intuition that we have the ability to intuit and when we do intuit and it's a high intuition that is the all the lord because we're intuiting truths of the spirit we're intuiting light and love and those sorts of things so i'm challenging you to be very intuitive today uh the um and it's an underused thing and here's how to know whether you're using your intuition correctly or not Intuition that operates, uh, that ancient rabbis used to talk about the fear of the Lord. And they said that the, the low, there were two types. There was the high fear of the Lord and the low fear of the Lord. And, but the, the low fear, uh, of the Lord was, was dread and, and, uh, just being, uh, dreadfully, uh, panicked and panic and anxiety. But the high fear of the Lord, the high awe of the Lord, that was when we are in love with God, but we're walking in the light as he is in the light. We're walking in peace. We're walking in his nature. That, that's the high fear of the Lord. So I believe that the awe of the Lord is synonymous with intuition. So anyway, you know, the scriptures say we're to be in the fear of the Lord all the day long. And the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. It means all the high intuitions of God. And I want to pray for you in Jesus' name that everyone who hears this can start glistening and gleaming and getting a greater sensibility of the high promptings of God. And, um, and that these are available all the time. All we have to do is become an open, an open system and remain open and incorporate our body, incorporate our hearts, incorporate our emotions, incorporate our thoughts. Sure. But not just our thoughts. We incorporate everything about us, wholeheartedness to love the Lord, our God, with all our heart, soul, strength, and might to walk in the, that type of all the Lord, because the Lord is clean. His ways are good and he loves us and he's so tender and he's so compassionate. So anyway, I hope that blessed you. Take care.